Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm Jamie B. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you're already subscribed, then welcome back. So in today's video, I will be doing a big face product declutter. I will be decluttering foundation to blush, highlighter, anything basically that goes on your face. I'm going to be going through my collection today. Um, as you're, you can tell, I do not have any makeup on. <laughs> that is because you're only going to see my hands. So it's just unnecessary. But I'm super excited to do this with you guys. I did one before and I'll go ahead and link it above here which I decluttered my lipsticks, which took a while. So hopefully this one won't take as long, but it's a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff I'm gonna get rid of. So as always guys, just make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload. And without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, so I wanna address the craziness going on with my fingers. I have to repaint them, I know. But right now I want to get this declutter out. I'm gonna be doing like a full nail thing. So we're gonna go through these and I'm gonna either decide which ones I wanna keep, which ones I wanna get rid of, and all that fun stuff. So what I'm starting with first is gonna be my powder drawer, which is bronzers, blushes, and setting powders. So these are all my Kylie bronzers. I do use these actually quite often. Some of them are a little bit too dark, but I do like to use them. Um, plus I have not been able to tan. And then I have my Pretty Vulgar Bronzer in Bronzed B, and this is 113 Bronze Mannequin. So I got this in a boxy charm, and it is actually one of my favorite bronzers to use. The packaging is fairly cheap and light, but I absolutely love it. So then I have the Wet n Wild bronzers, which I believe came out as a Halloween collection. They have dragons on them, I love them. And I have three of them, two of them are unopened. Another favorite is my Urban Decay Sunkissed. I think this one is Sunkissed. Yep, Sunkissed Beach Bronzer. This one is, has been like used a lot. You can almost see the pan. And then I have this Becca one, which I don't ever use, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. It's a smaller one, but this is perfecting, multitasking perfecting powder, but I just, I don't use it at all. So these are blushes, they don't belong here. So we're gonna go ahead and put the bronzers back. So blushes, this one's pretty. This is the Essence Blush Up Duo Blush, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it. The Collab Blush, which was okay, and it's from Sally's, but also getting rid of, I don't use it. This is by far one of my favorite blushes. If you do not have a Milani baked blush, you need to go to the drugstore and get some. It's such a beautiful blush here. It just has like such a beautiful color and it has some shimmer in it. It's so beautiful on the face. This one is in the shade Luminoso. So I will be keeping that one. And then I have a Makeup Geek blush in XOXO. I will keep it because I do use this blush quite often. It's fairly pink and dark, but I do use it a lot. The NYX Ombre brush blushes, which will probably be going. So this one is like a nude. I don't ever use it. So these have shimmer on the top of them and then blush on the bottom. They're pretty, I just don't use them. So then I have the MAC. This is the Patrick Star MAC Spring or Summer Collection Duo Blush. I love it. I'll still keep it. Mars Orgasm, tiny one, but still a good one. Two ColourPop um, Super Shock Shadows, one in a dark pink red, and the other in like an orangey pink. And this one is Stop It, and this one is Ooh, She's Blushing, and I believe these were from, I believe that these were from um, Bretman Rock Collection, if I'm not mistaken. So this is another bronzer. This one's the one that my daughters use. It's khaki, it's the lightest one. But we have another blush, blush, blush. I love Kylie's blushes, I really do. So this blush is actually from her Valentine's Day collection and it's one of my favorite. It's just a like nudey pink color and it's so pretty. Um, I do unfortunately think it would only be good for lighter skin tones, which is really a lot of the issue with her blushes that people have is they're not very 
um, inclusive in color. The only dark one they really have is rosy and she's like really, really red, but I can still use this. So it's kind of like a tan to dark kind of. So again, not very inclusive with the colors. I'm going into my setting powders. This is the Milk Makeup Blur and Set. It's actually one of my favorite. Um, I still have the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Butter, but I think I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't use it, I don't like it. I did a review on it. It's just not for my skin type. Another favorite is the Huda Beauty Setting Powder. This one has foundation on it, but this is in Banana Bread. So I will be keeping both my um, Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier? I think um, powders the secret brightening powder and the translucent I love them I use them all the time I'm gonna get rid of this collab setting powder I never use it uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics setting powder in topaz I will probably get rid of I got it in way too dark of a color it's kind of like um, I don't know if you can see that like an orangey peach color so then I do have four five Oh my god, I have an obsession with Kylie. This is why I stopped buying Kylie. Because I have way too much Kylie. So I have four Kylie setting powders. I have it in beige, soft pink, translucent, and yellow. I will be keeping these. I actually don't mind them. They are a little bit dry, but they're not the worst. Then I have my MAC Studio Fix. And this is in NC40. This is just basically an all-over setting powder, not an under-eye setting powder. And I use it all the time. Here's another one from Colab Beauty from Sally's that I'll be giving away. It's the loose setting powder instead of the packed one. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the giveaway. Not like a giveaway, but like I'm giving it away. Okay, I'm moving back here. It does look like some blushes fell out. This is the Kat Von D Dual, Bl Dual Blush. And I'm gonna go ahead and give that away. It's the shade and light blush. I don't really use it. Um, it's pretty, but I don't use it. So we're gonna go back into the back part here, which is my face palettes. I have tons and tons of face palettes. Oh, we have a blush escaping. So this is the Zoella, yeah. Zoella and ColourPop blush, which was okay, not terrible, but I'm gonna keep it because I do like the pink color. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go with the Morphe bronzers that I have in here. And these are the Glamour bronzers that they came out with, I believe last summer for their summer collection. So this one is in Icon, and it is the lighter one of the two, which is my favorite one to use. And these are huge, so they last a long time. Mega Star, which is the darker one, which I also like to use in the summertime. Again, these are like, when you look at them, I can't really show you my hand, but here's a setting powder. Here's the bronzer. Like, that's how big they are. They're huge. So I will probably not go through those in a long time, but I am keeping those. And then I have a Kiko face palette that I got from a friend of mine. Uh, he went to Italy and he got it for me. So I thought that was pretty cool. And of course, I'm keeping. You have your bronzers highlighter and three blushes which I love the shades and this is something that you can like take with you on the go so then I have the Jouer blush palette I actually did a review on that recently it's one of my first items that I bought from them um I do like it a lot I like that you get a couple different colors I just wish that they would have put maybe darker colors in here and then my cover fx which honestly I think I'm gonna give away because I don't use it it comes with blushes highlighters a brightener and a finishing powder which I don't really use any of so that's gonna go and then I have a wonder beauty city lights palette also two blushes and a highlighter gonna go I don't use them my favorite bronzing palette is the Park Avenue princess you get so many different bronzers in here and setting powders are two at the end so I really like it some are shimmery some are matte but I really like it you can carry it with you and you have a lot of different options. So this was one of my first ever like um, higher end makeup items. This is my Gwen Stefani, 
yeah. The Gwen Stefani Urban Decay Blush Palette. I really love it. I still do use this palette, so I will be keeping it, but it is extremely old. So these are all my blush sticks. I will be keeping them. I use these primarily when I wear no makeup and I want to have a little color on my cheeks. I do not wear these with foundation. Again, I did a review with these and I just don't like how they make my foundation look. So I wear them on days that I wear no makeup. All right, and we're gonna move on to the next drawer. So these are the Villain ColourPop Villain Highlighters. They're decent size, they're beautiful. I am gonna keep these, but I did a review on them. It'll be on my video list, or I can link it above. I do like them, I think they're very pretty, so I won't be giving any of those away. So this is my Zoella and ColourPop highlighter. This highlighter is actually not that great at all. Like when you look at it, it's just not what I thought it would be. There's not really as much shine as I would like it to have, so I will be getting rid of that one. So on top here, I have the I Love Sarahi and Dose of Colors, and this is in Soulmate. I really love this one. This one gets used a lot, so I'm gonna keep that. I have done a favorites video and this has been on it. This is the Coco Collection by Kylie. And this is the face palette, which has to actually go up higher in the drawer. I'm gonna put it in the drawer above. It comes with a blush, a bronzer, and two highlighters. Not giving that away. I have all of these Arbeca highlighters. I am actually, I used to be super, super obsessed with these and I had way more, but I wanted up giving a lot of them away. I collected a lot of them. Like, I only have three of the limited edition ones. I just have so, so many more. So I'm proud of myself for giving them away, but I do like them and I'm not gonna get rid of them yet. So this is the Skin Frost from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's actually the only Jeffree Star one I have in Uranus. And I think I'll keep it, but I don't really use it. Not that I'm not a fan of it. It is really pretty. It's just so big and bulky, but I'll keep it for a little bit and see if I go to it because I don't use it as often as I like. Okay, so this is the Milk Makeup Highlighter that I have. It's like almost iridescent holographic purple. It's really pretty and I will keep it. I don't use it that much, but it is really pretty to have. So I have two, four, six, seven Kylie highlighters. These are my go-to highlighters. I do love the quality of these. They're just kind of expensive. I think they're $20 a piece. So then I have the Sleek Makeup Highlighting Palette, but I'm gonna give that away because I don't use it. Two Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palettes in gold and pink sands. I don't really use these, but I don't think I can get rid of them. I love them so much, they're so pretty. So I do have the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Face Palette, which also has Prosesco Pop, Champagne Pop, and three blushes. So I will keep that because I do actually use that one. And then two Urban Decay Afterglows, which come with four highlighters. And these highlighters are actually really, really pretty. Um, I'm obsessed with them. I do use them quite often. I use the darker one a little bit more, but they're very pretty. They make you look nice and dewy. Obsessed. So this was actually one of my favorite highlighting palettes for a while. This is in the Storm Collection from Kylie Cosmetics. This one right here actually broke out, so I had to like press it back in, but I love these. They're so beautiful. This one and this one are my favorite, so I will not be letting that go. And it's such a cute little package, Like, and I just like the, I don't know, I like the style of it. Laura Mercier can go. None of my... Lunar Beauties are going anywhere. So then we have Fenty, and this is Mean Money and Hustler Baby. I do not wear it often, but when I do, I am in love with it. These are two collab beauties that I'm gonna get rid of. I don't use them. The Amra Z and ABH highlighter I use often. And then I have a lot of stick foundations, I thought, or highlighters. I have some stick highlighters that again I use without foundation for my no makeup looks. They're easier to use that way. I have the Steel of Putty highlighters. 
think I have two of them, but I have to find it. And I think I'm going to keep those because, again, that's something that I use for when I do, like, a no makeup makeup look. So I have three Dose of Colors from Desi, the Desi X Katie collection. I have Fago, Marami, and then Chasing the Sun. So they're very beautiful. The highlighters are very beautiful, so I will be keeping these in my collection. These are just a bunch of Wet n Wild highlighters that I have that I've collected over the years. I'll probably keep this one, Precious Petals. And this one, Crown of My Canopy. These other ones I'm going to go ahead and give to someone else because I don't use them. And then I have two of the Smashbox slash Vlada Petal Metal Highlighters. They're very pretty, but they're kind of dark, so I don't really use them. I might keep this one. Sin, which is an oldie but a goodie from Urban Decay, one of my absolute favorite highlighters. I will not be getting rid of that. I love it. Okay, and then this one was from a smaller company. It has it all over it, actually. And this is Chaos. It is from JD Glow Cosmetics, which looks like it's a bit messy inside, so I'm gonna get rid of it. So the next things are gonna be my highlighter palettes. So these are the go-to beauty, which were the copycat beauty of the ABH ones by Bad Baby. I actually really like these. Um, I did a review, and I know a lot of people really didn't like the company as a whole because of the idea of it, but I really like these, so I won't be getting rid of those. This is my favorite, 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 favorite highlighter palette. This is the Greek Goddess Collection by Lunar Beauty. And just look at them. Like, they're just stunning. ABH Dream. It's a little bit messy. It's more glitter than highlighter, so I might give this to my daughters. The Nicole Guerrero, which some of them were really glittery and some of them were nice highlighters, so I'll be keeping that. I don't do the glitter highlighters. And then I have two. I have two glow kits left. The Sun Dipped and Sugar, which I really like, but I don't really use, so I may have to get rid of them. And then the last one is the Fenty Beauty. I actually use this more as eyeshadow than highlighter because these colors are not going to highlight anywhere I need them to. <laughs> Too dark. So the next set of stuff I have are my liquids and, ooh, and my loose powders. So I'm going to get rid of these Naked Skins because I don't really use them. The Stila one I'm going to get rid of. Uh, this loose pigment one from JJ, I think it's JJ Cosmetics. I'm not the biggest fan of loose powders, so if they're too loose or too glittery, I don't use them. My favorite liquid highlighter from actually Sephora's brand, and this one is in Ultra Light. It's so beautiful to use over makeup or under makeup. Over makeup or obviously without makeup. Don't put it under your makeup. So then I have these, which I like to use when I'm doing like a new makeup look as well. Um, I gave the ones away that were kind of really glitter filled and less highlighter. So I'll be keeping those. Getting rid of this one, keeping Sin in the liquid. And then I will be keeping all of these because they are my favorite loose pit, loose um, highlighters. So these are from Laura Lee Los Angeles. They are some of my favorite highlighters to use loose powder wise. Artist Couture, Colourpop, Colourpop, Kylie. So those are the ones I will be keeping in there. So that's it for the highlighters. I think I'm actually going to, while we're here, add in my foundation and my primers to get rid of because this would, this isn't going to make a long declutter video. So I won't do this separate, I'll just do this as well, and then the next one I'll do will be my eyeshadow. So first things first, we'll go with concealer. I have Giorgio Armani concealer, which is my favorite concealer for lightweight coverage. I love Kylie's concealers. So uh, the Fenty one, I am actually not a big fan of, so I, uh, I don't know, I think I'm gonna keep it though. I'm gonna keep it, because sometimes I use it for my eyelids for the shadow. The Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, C14. I'll be giving that away as well. I don't use it. I don't like it. Mm, enough said. Bye bye under eye. Bye bye. Uh, NYX can't stop, won't stop keeping. Really good um, drugstore brand. 
Collab Beauty, getting rid of Tarte Shape Tape, keeping Abby. This is a Becca Peach Color Corrector. I actually use this a lot because I have dark circles under my eyes and I use it under my foundation. Morphe, I only use these, like look at this. I only use these for my eyelids, for my shadow. They're way too dry for me, way too thick for my under eye. I'm just not the biggest fan, so. They will be kept, but they're only kept for a certain reason. <laughs> All right, and then we have the ColourPop Concealer, which is actually one of my favorite, and it's like $7 at Ulta or at ColourPop. And it is, you get a decent amount in the tube for the cheap price. And it is really good quality. I use it for my eyes. I use it for my under eye. It's amazing. Morphe. This is actually eyeshadow primer. I keep it in here because I just have more room here. And that is a sample primer we're going to get rid of. But favorite eyeshadow primer, I won't lie, other than concealer, is going to be the Morphe one. So I have the collab one, which is a hydrating primer I'm going to get rid of. The Petal Metal Primer, which is actually a highlighter primer it's really shimmery and has a lot of sparkles in it so i don't use it so those are going i have the tatcha the silk canvas and the smaller one i really like it but i still have a lot in here because i have so many primers so i'm gonna keep it it's gonna go like over here so then i have becca and this is the perfecting base um the texture of this is really weird, but I actually like how it makes my makeup look underneath. This is one of my favorite. The Becca um, First Light, yeah. First Light Priming Filter. Uh, it's really nice for hydrating the skin, and I love how it makes my skin feel. And then we have the Milk Makeup Hydro. And then the Tarte Shape Tape, or Tarte base tape hydrating primer. I really love hydrating primers because I have super dry skin and this is one of my favorite. It's like a milky texture and I don't feel like it sits like a silicone based on my face. It just kind of moisturizes and then also helps with my makeup looking better. I also have a um, Touch and Soul and this is a no pore bloom primer. This is smooth and pore covering. It is very silicone based, I feel like. So I do use it a little bit, but if I'm feeling super dry, I cannot because it just kind of sits on my dry skin. Okay, foundations, the last part. Becca Skin Love, love it, keeping it. La Mer, this is the soft fluid liquid. This was $120 and let me tell you something. Don't ever buy this foundation. Everyone and their mom said this foundation was amazing, but I don't know what I, either I'm doing wrong or what, it just sits on my skin so gross like and no matter what I do, it just doesn't look nice. The only reason I've kept it is because, well, it cost me $120, so there's that. And this is one of my favorite foundations, the Hourglass Stick Foundation. I do use this one quite a bit, so I have to get another one, maybe several of these. I really, really like the formula of this one. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation, but I don't use that end. I just use the contour end. All right, then we have Lancome Skin Feels Good. This is another lightweight foundation that I really enjoy using. Can't Stop, Won't Stop, keeping Giorgio Armani, keeping Morphe Foundation, throwing out or getting rid of. If someone has like my skin tone, they can have these but I just cannot. These are too dry, too cakey, too thick, too everything. And then I have the Infallible 24 Hour Wear by L'Oreal. I like it, I'm keeping it. My favorite foundation is the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid. And then I have the Beauty Blender Foundation. And then these are two lip primers that I'll put over here. And then I have an ABH, it's a contour stick technically, um, right here. And this one is in the shade Mink. And I'll keep that. And then the Collab Bright Spark Radiant Foundation. I actually do like this foundation a lot. I got it from Sally, so I'm going to keep that. All right, so that is it for all of my face products, my foundation, my concealers, my setting powders, blushes, highlighters, all of the good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter with me. All right, guys, so that is it for my face declutter video. I'm really glad that I did decide to add the foundation and all that in because I don't think that could make its own video 
just because it's not a lot of stuff I kind of when it comes to foundation and concealer I have the things that I really enjoy and then that's kind of it I don't really stray out of that but I have a ton of makeup over here I don't know if you guys can see it I'll probably take a big picture of it to put on Instagram but I have a ton of makeup that I'm giving away to family friends all of that good stuff because I don't want it to go to waste. Um, if it's expired or it's super old, I will throw it away just because it is not sanitary to keep that or give it to someone else. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did, and then I will see you on the next one. Bye.